I'm author Denise Turney, and you are watching the Chisto, C-H-I-S-T-E-L-L.com YouTube channel. And our, this Chisto.com YouTube episode is about nothing stays the same. I'm telling you, I, I, there are times in my life I just said, you know, a week ago or two weeks ago, everything was different. And it just changes. It can just change so suddenly. And sometimes it seems like big things are happening with a, a, a tighter interval. It used to be like you go a couple of years and then something major would happen on a global scale, national, or just, it seemed like it, the interval was broader. Now it seems like it's getting smaller, the interval. But, but nothing stays the same. And I've had times in my life when I wanted to hold on to some sweet feeling, some sweet spot. <laughs> And I wasn't able to. Something would happen and boom, everything just flipped. So nothing stays the same. Even even if it's something that you don't want, something that you really want to get out of, a behavior you want to stop, a situation you want to come out of. If you keep trying, nothing stays the same. You can go from bottom to boom. And just just that's why I think self-love is so important, that no matter what the situation is, you're in good company when you love yourself. So nothing stays the same. Even if you sat in the same chair for an entire year and didn't move, you wouldn't be able to avoid change. There's just We try. We fight so hard to avoid change. We put up so many barriers and walls and things. Don't change. Don't change. And it, there's no way to, to stop it. It's happening all around us. Change is. And sometimes it shows up like, boom, huge, suddenly, like with the COVID-19 that we experienced, it's why one of the best things, one of the most loving things that you can do for yourself is to continue to make changes in your habits, traditions, ways of thinking, beliefs that will begin more and more and more to help you to awaken. Accepting that nothing stays the same can help you to avoid developing mental biases. You may not dig in your heels and fight when experiences occur that go against what you've grown accustomed to. Here come these people. Are they just going to change everything? I don't like them. Is it that you don't like the people or you don't like the potential change? <laughs> Realizing that nothing stays the same could also open you up to wonderful worlds, to brand new rewarding ways of thinking and being. The sooner that we accept that nothing stays the same, the sooner we could start taking actions that set us up for success. Everything's changed. When the internet came, I mean, it, it really, really changed the book publishing industry, the move of the uh, music industry and movies as well. The entertainment industry just went through a huge change. You can keep bemoaning it. Who moved my cheese? Remember that book? Or you can start setting yourself up for a new way to experience success. You could also avoid becoming stagnant or having a fold up shop because you refuse to change earlier. I can remember when when it, they take like the Encyclopedia Britannica and they the door to door. My dad said when Ebony by um, John H. Johnson started Ebony and Jet Magazine. They went door to door getting subscriptions. Who sells magazines that way today? I'm not saying that would be helpful today, but it was extremely profitable years ago. And retail companies, they're dealing with change, just like the entertainment industry dealing with change. Can you imagine what it must have felt to be a prominent retailer 40 years ago? A retailer who today is struggling just to keep the lights on? Let me get to just adjust to change. That cannot be a good feeling. So today, the pace of change, like I was saying earlier, has really picked up. And what once may have taken six months to change is happening now in like a week. Nothing staying the same has long been a fact. In this world, faster change may help us to see that nothing stays the same, that, that it happens faster and faster and faster. Eventually, we're, we're no longer convinced. That if we shut certain people out, if we do certain things, if we put enough fear in enough people or do whatever, we can avoid change. We can control it and avoid change. But change is happening so suddenly and coming from such unexpected places that I think it should be coming clear to us. It, there's no way to stop it. There's, there's no way to stop it. And as it happens more and more, which could prove to be a good thing. If we set ourselves up for going, going success and we keep tweaking, keep changing because nothing stays the same and we practice self-love and awareness, these changes could just take us higher and higher and higher. And I hope that for you.
Please hit the subscribe button and visit me online at Chistel, C-H-I-S-T-E-L-L.com and just open yourself up to so many blessings and so much success. See you back here next week. Bye for now.